Even before the 2012 season ended at the Gator Bowl, Northwestern Director of Football Performance Jay Hooten was hard at work, designing a new training program based on a request from head coach Pat Fitzgerald. He asked if we could get the guys stronger, and I said, yeah. I said, with proper planning and proper, you know, proper nutrition and the, ty and the type of cycling that we do with our lifts and, and just scaling the volume back, it, the guys can actually get stronger during spring ball. The commitment, obviously, from Coach Fitz has always been there, but this year, this spring, is even more so. I mean, we're getting them three days a week. We get them three days a week for an hour, which is unbelievable. About two weeks after the bowl game, uh, we put together a program based off uh, what we call work capacity hypertrophy. So basically increasing muscle size, it's a lot of reps, a lot of sets, uh, basically working the guys up through uh, until spring ball started. Then during the winning edge spring ball phase, we're taking the guys trying to get them stronger. But a one size fits all strength program won't work while the team is also going through spring practice. So the sports performance staff had to build some flexibility into its plan. You have to be able to adjust to the player. Trevor Simeon and, and Kane Coulter, those guys can't do any overhead work right now because they're doing a lot of throwing. So you have to be able to adjust to the player and be able to set certain exercises and adjust to their position. We kind of sit back as a staff and just kind of look and say, okay, here's what happens. Here's what we're trying to accomplish. What can we do? So there's a lot more work that goes into it than just putting a, throwing, you know, a program together and having the guys come in and work. So there's a lot of thought that goes into it. There's also more than just physical strength being built. Having the student athletes work together by position group allows for more time to bond together and for leadership to be developed. When you're in season, I mean, you pretty much know, hey, who's leading? Who's your leaders? Who's the, who's the guys that you know, the guys look to at each position to, to lead them or the team leaders? You know, at this time of year, we're trying to cultivate and motivate and, and uh, figure out who the leaders are. The kids have their body in and, and, and they're embracing and they're, and they're excited and they're having fun. I mean, as you can see, as you look around, they're having fun. But we're creating a, a culture of one of such of success, but also one of such of discipleship in terms of the kids, the kids believing in, in, in the objectives, believing in the mission, and, and the kids uh, uh, being an extension of us as coaches and our, and our football coaching staff and our performance staff uh, of going out and leading, hey, what are the expectations? What are the things we need to do? A lot of head coaches around the country want you to really scale back during spring ball where Fitz is like, you guys do what you do, you do it well. Here, this is my commitment to you. And none of the guys complain. I don't hear anything from the players, so you must be doing something right. Reporting for NUSports.com, I'm Rob Coons.